So next one I have here, guys, I want to go through the menu here is basically we're going to get charges first of all. So this is a this is a screen that shows me all my open charges. So right now I currently have two charges here, and I'm going to point out two different things here. So one is from January. So it looks like I bought a key back in January for additional fob for seventy five dollars, and I also have April first condo fees. And the, and the timing of the seminars is perfect because what I wanted to show you this is that we actually post our next month's condo fees and rent fees um, about up to up five to seven days before the end of the month. So if you ever come in here and look at charges, you might see next month's charges. If you're on PAP, don't try to pay them through the system. The PAP will handle it all. Don't worry. It's just don't stand because it's April 1st. By April 3rd or 4th, it'll be all taken care of and it'll be caught up and it'll disappear again. But the point is that we don't want to double charge you. So let's say, you know what? I need to pay that $75 key, key charge. I forgot to pay it. I better pay it now. So all I do is make payment. And then we have two ways to make payments. So first of all, we have checking, ACH checking. We have savings, which are basically the same thing. And then credit card. And again, I want to stress again, if you're on PAP, don't try to pay your condo fees. So right now, all I want to do is I want to pay my $75 key charge. All I want to pay. And then I can pick which one I want to pay it by. And they're slightly different. The two different payments are. So ACH checking actually pulls the money from your bank account. So you actually enter your physical check information off your check. You can use your address from your file. So I can click this little button. It'll fill my default address in for myself. You do have to check this little, please be, please be aware there's a fee for this. So if you use ACH checking or ACH savings, there's a $1 charge fee, convenience fee that gets charged to your account or charged against you. So this $75 charge is gonna cost you $76, okay? The credit card's more, and I'll show you that in two seconds. The other button I wanna show you here is this store a save payment for the future. If you click this button, then what happens is information gets saved, but not with us, it gets saved with our payment processor. So none of my team can look at this up. None of my team can see what bank account you have. None of my team can do anything with it. It's all saved at our payment processor away from my team. So extra security involved, right? And the idea being, if you just save it, then you can use it next time you want to pay for that key or that elevator booking or what else you need to pay for that one-off thing. And then um, I'll show you later in, this, in the demonstration how if you aren't on PAP, but you want to pay regularly and you want to pay, you want to control it yourself, you can do that as well through the system. I'll show you that. So that's the, that's the payment on how to do an ACH payment. Let me just hit back here for a second. I don't want to change it to checking or credit card. I just want to show you a difference in how it looks like a credit card. And again, credit card's pretty basic. Credit card number, your expiry, your 03 number, uh, your basic information. Again, you can use, use address. It'll pull your information that we have on file in here and check it off. But you'll know it's, it's a higher charge. So what this is, it's a 2.98% of the charge plus a dollar. So that's where the $3 come in. And again, just guys know these fees do not come to us. They actually pay for the payment supplier to pay the, to do the processing of the payments. So they handle all that stuff for us. And that's where that money goes to. So making payments again, for making one-off payments, really, really simple. Again, click on your charges, make payment, pick your amount you want to pay or type your own amount in and then pick your source and you're ready to go. Okay. So when, after you pay for the charges, sometimes you want to go see, and this is really good for in the tax year for you investors is you want to see what your ledger looks like. So I can see that I had got a condo fee of December one condo fee. I can see on December 4th, I, they received payment on my PAP to pay it off. January is the same kind of thing. Oh, look on January 24th is my key fob. There's no payment for that. Um, then on in February, same thing. My condo fees come out. I have a, and, and they come in and I have a balance of 600. I paid off on the 1st of February because PAP and the $75. And then you go on and go on and all in a month. So that's kind of thing. You'll notice that April 1st isn't showing here because I haven't picked my dates here. The other thing you can do is you can change this date now, again, for your people that are investor owners who need to show that they paid condo fees for their investment property for a year. Rather than calling us and asking for a ledger, what you can do is you can click this little button here and you can then select back and you can go back for the whole year and pick all your charges you need to. Right, and you can do a whole calendar year now. And then once you're done, let me pick my dates properly here. I can hit filter. I don't have a lot. My, this is my test day. It's not a lot of date of the year. Then you hit print and you can just go print the file out now. And now you have your document you need for the, for the accountant. 